Hello folks, Bill Wilson here with my good buddy uh, Ken Hackathorn and today we're going to talk about the True Zero uh, red dot mounting system. Ken, we've got some pretty cool stuff here for you to look at today. This is big news from Wilson Combat. The fact yeah. that you guys have basically decided to step into the red dot world. Well, to tell you the, the kind of the short version of a long story there is we really wanted to get it right the first time. You know, we could have brought this product to market probably six or eight months ago, and it wouldn't have been any better than everybody else's. But, uh, you know, our guys at, you know, in engineering kept working on it, and they, they eventually come up with a really, really good system and some neat features that some of the competitors don't have, you know, like adjustable uh, rear sight. You know, the rear sight's adjustable for windage, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, I saw that, and as we know, a lot of the vendors that make a system the rear sight has no windage adjustment, so yeah. if your gun doesn't shoot to the sight, you're kind of screwed. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty trick. Uh, another thing I noticed when I looked at it, if I looked at the mounting system, and basically you've got three major, and those are pretty good sized screws that are going to be, once the slides machine, that's going to secure. I, I mean, the plate, I can't imagine being separated from the slide as a result of men, momentum. Now, the mounting system for the red dot to this may not be as strong if you look at the size of the holes and threads, but boy, this thing is going to be pretty well solid when it's put on the gun. Yeah. And I noticed this extra hole here is not a screw hole, and I finally figured out that's so if you want to remove the extractor on your X9, that's where that yeah, that's for retainer clearance, pin clearance is. Hole. That's pretty well thought out. Um, Obviously, you can order a gun, an X9, a Glock, or most of your 1911s with this feature now. Yeah, we can, and, and we have mounting plates for all the popular Major red dot ones. red dot sites. Yeah. Yeah. And if and if you get, um, say, an X9 machine for the True Zero plate, for let's say a Delta point, and then you decide, you know, you want to step up to the new Aim Point Acro, you just switch the plate. The, the machining to the slide is the same, so you just switch the plate, and now you can that's, put the Acro on there. That's pretty true. And and one thing I wanted to mention about the new Acro, you know, which we're both, you know, pretty impressed with, yeah. uh, it's got the most secure mounting system from sight to plate of anything on the market. So basically, it's a know, pick rail. Basically, yeah, yeah, it's it. basically a pick a tinny rail. You know, I mean, so it's, you and know, that's the way it mounts from a sheer standpoint of the momentum moving back and forth. Yeah. This is going to be about the toughest one out there. Oh yeah, that, that that's the plate's not going to move and the sight's not going to move on the plate when you when you mount the yeah. acro on there. Yeah. And these are steel or aluminum? That's yeah, steel because of the dovetail for the uh, windage adjustable rear sight. We oh, do, okay. we were just concerned about strength. You know, if, if we made that out of aluminum, yeah. you know, for the dovetail of, of the rear sight yeah. there, so. And notice the rear sight basically has the same sight pictures your standard battle, battle sight rear sight. Yeah. Okay, Bill, I see these have like green fiber optic, but obviously red fiber optic will also be an option for your front sight. Yeah, uh, somewhere along the way we made the uh, kind of the corporate decision that the, the default color was green. So all the guns ship with a green fiber optic sight unless the customer specifies other, right. otherwise. Otherwise, yeah. Well, it looks to me, I mean, when you look at it, you say that's a pretty solid and very rigid mounting system, which we both know that lots of the ones on the market, at some point, if you shoot the guns enough, you will reach a failure point. Mm -hmm. Most people don't do that, but I'm pretty convinced that uh, your guys did their homework, and this thing is incredibly rugged. Yeah, I think it's going to hold up really well. Yeah, and I'm, and candidly, what we have here, personally, for what I would want to carry a pistol for, these, are, this RMR and the new Acro are the only two I would actually want to consider for a real gun. Yeah. But if you've got the RMR footprint, for example, and you shoot competition, obviously, you, since the footprint's the same, you can use their new SRO, Trojicon site, which for competition is, yeah. is a real good site. So, no, I think you did your homework. You were kind of late to the 21st century, but I think <laughs> you came in with a real solid product to the point. Um, never thought I'd say this, but I kind of see that set up in my future. Um, I'm, it, not something I'm probably going to carry every day, but boy, I'm something I'm going to play with. Be a fun toy to play with, huh? Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, I think you got a great future here, a great product. If you're remotely serious about a red dot sight on your sidearm, the Wilson Combat True Zero system is something you need to check out.